Hey, 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 it's your girl, Evelyn, and I am back for, I'm barefaced, because <laughs> I figured I would do a get ready with me. I don't think I've ever done a get ready with me on my channel, um, and because I'm getting back into beauty and makeup, I thought it'd be a great way to chit and chat, life updates, things like that, while I get ready. So the occasion today is that um, I'm going to be shooting um, some course content for my business, and so I need makeup that is going to stay for, you know, about two hours worth of filming um, and is, is like going to control the oil. So I'm probably going and but also be very neutral and timeless because I don't want to have to re-record this for a couple of years. So that's kind of what we are doing today. And I want to do a little chit chat. Now, I've never done a get ready with me. Um, I've done makeup videos like years ago, probably like a decade ago on my channel. And so I, we're going we're gonna to see how this goes because I'm, I'm Chatty Cathy. I use my hands a lot. I got my whole setup here. It might be rock with me. So I'm going to, I'm just going to start with my base. If I don't talk about what I'm using, I will put it in the description box. But I'm using the Gucci Mattifying Primer. I think I recently hauled this. Um, and if y'all see me looking down, like I've got my screen here and my mirror over here. So, and then the viewfinder's right there. So, um, and then like my whole makeup kit is there. But anyway, so, okay. Let's talk about some, um, I guess we can start with business updates because I talked about that I'm going to be spending today creating new content. So I right now have a personal brand, Chef Evelyn, and under that brand I do um, basically coaching and consulting with um, people in the food service industry who want to leave corporate America and do their food business full time, but the traditional models of like working in a restaurant. Oh, this is the Rimmel Stay Mat. Like I told y'all, we about to like shellac this face on. Um, so people who work in like the corporate space, but who eventually want to leave that and do food full time. But the idea of working like in a restaurant and a hotel is not, not it. So I help them create um, basically a product suite, if you will or a services suite um, for their business is very untraditional, non-traditional. I never, I never know which one that is. I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear. My color is 7N1 um, Deep Amber. And I'm using my BK Beauty 106 foundation brush. And I'm not one of them people who's like, oh, my brushes are clean. They're not, because I use them. So, and I don't wash my brushes after every use. I'm, I'm not that person. So anyway, um, so basically I am moving um, my coaching and consulting from being more of a personal brand to more of a business brand. Um, so I'm filming some content, content for that business brand today, even though at the time of recording, it has not launched. Now, side note, I normally am not a full coverage Kind of person even though double wear is definitely <laughs> full coverage but i use what would be the equivalent to one pump i just i have oily skin and so to have full coverage is a bit much but i also like matte coverage and so the dilemma i have is that double wear is definitely full coverage which i appreciate for filming days but also it's a little heavier than I would like for my oily skin. Anyway, okay, and I like to blend, blend, blend. I go all the way down the neck, around the mouth, because I definitely have some hyperpigmentation there. Okay, so, so that's what I'm doing today, and I'm actually going to be trying some new marketing techniques. If you, if you follow me on Instagram, as Chef Lev, as you should, um, I'm always in my stories, but I like I rarely post on my feed. So this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Instant Fix Concealer. I got this at the Cosmetics Company Outlet store. It has like this hydro primer on the other end, which I never use. This color is not really a highlighting color for me. It almost acts more like uh, a corrector, not an orangey corrector, but just kind of evening out 
the darkness and then I go in with a more highlighting shade. I cannot believe I just got makeup all over my sweatpants. Okay. And so I also, so my actual like highlighting shade and my favorite concealer to date is the Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer in D31. I'm almost out of this, but I forgot to get it. You see, that's much lighter. I forgot to get it during the sale. Okay, you don't need a lot of that. This is gonna bother some of y'all because I like to let it sit. I like to let it marinate as I go into my brows. So that's what I'm doing today when it comes to my business. And the reason why I'm switching to more of a business brand than a personal brand, is just so that I can serve more people in a better way. And I kind of want my personal brand back to do some more fun things with it. Well, let me say that. I enjoy what I do tremendously. Like, no point in having your own business if you don't enjoy it. But that's what I'm saying. Okay, my mirror is right here. So I'm going to have to lean in to do my brows. And I'm one of those people, I don't think I can talk and do my brows at the same time. So we might have to fast forward through this. I'm going to be using the Merit um, Black Brown Brow Gel. Again, um, I was sent this. I don't necessarily know if I would have bought it. I like it. Um, I enjoy it. I also enjoy the aesthetics of it every time I use it. Like, it's a pleasurable experience. Is it, like, revolutionary? Probably not. Um, but I do like it. It's got a really soft hold. It makes my hair look more hair-like. Here we are. Okay. I am still team carve out your brows because... I don't care what Gen Z or whoever says. Just like I still, I don't really wear um, jeans anymore. But if I did, I would still wear a skinny jean and I wouldn't care. <laughs> and I still wear a side part. So there's that. Oh, what am I using um, to cover my brows? This is the Merit Perfecting Complexion Stick in Chestnut. Again, they sent this to me. Again, I don't know if I would have bought this, but I like it. Um, I would use it as a complexion stick on me, but I definitely like it as um, to carve out my brows. So, yeah, this is one of the oldest makeup brushes I have. This is a MAC. I don't even know, like, the 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 um, writing has been rubbed off. I've probably had it for 10 years. It was in a travel set years ago, and I only use it for this step right here, which is blending the concealer under my brow that's that's all I use it for that's it and I feel lost without it <laughs> okay so I love this BK um beauty Angie Cotton flashy a 506 brush it's like it's angled yes it's dirty because I, I I use my brushes okay so anyway after I let my concealer sit a little bit just to make it more tacky, feel like I get a little bit more coverage without having to necessarily add more product. I just tap to blend it out. I, I blend it all the way. I don't do the huge, like I just, that's not necessarily my aesthetic, but I blend it out. And I think that looks great. Natural-ish, as natural as you can be with makeup on. Okay. Yes, I make the face. <laughs> I'm really not a, like a swipe sweeper when it comes to my concealer just because I feel like that takes the coverage away so I'm really just trying to tap 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 in <laughs> see what I did there so I'm going to set my under eye with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in medium deep um I actually need a separate brush, but this is what I be using to tap off the excess. And I start down here and then build my way up so that I still set it with powder, but I'm not, the bulk of the powder is not right up under my eye and giving me that raccoon eye effect, right? Plus this is where I get, the, this right here is where I get the oiliest. So tap in, tap up. You see what I'm saying? It's still getting set. It's just that the bulk of the powder is down here. I always kind of work down up and then I blend it out. And for me, pressing it into the skin like this eliminates the need to bake. 
Like, I don't have to sweep this away. Because you probably would think that I would bake because I have oily skin. I don't. <laughs> A little bit on the chin. And my little lines there. And then the forehead where I get oily. I actually get oily all over the face, but we got stuff for that. Okay, like have I actually looked y'all in the face? Okay, so let's keep going. This video is about to be mad long. I can already tell. Um, I'm going to be using my MAC Studio Fix um, Powder Plus Foundation in NW55 Lightly. This is my hourglass brush, like lightly to just kind of, I told you this is like, I don't wear this, my makeup like this every day. This is definitely filming video makeup. And the reason why I know this is because when I was in high school, do y'all remember John Casablanca model talent management if you're in the US? <laughs> Particularly like in the Midwest. And so um, they taught a makeup class on like on camera makeup versus like in person makeup and on camera makeup is heavier okay so i'm going to also sweep over with my kosas dreamy cloud set powder oh the cloud set powder my color is dreamy that's what that looks like same brush again more powder than cons i mean than foundation But let me tell you the coup de gras. Let me tell you the thing that's about to be popping. This, this middle shade on this hourglass palette, it just do something to the skin. And I like to put that like under my eyes. Okay, so as you probably can tell from some of my videos, I have moved. So I moved in November. And y'all, I really haven't even started decorating my place. I mean, I've bought some things here and there. And I, I'm, I don't know if you know this, but I'm really, really into home decor. And so um, I thought about vlogging it, but I haven't done a good job. So I'm using my LYS uh, No Limits Matte Bronzer. No Limits Matte Bronzer in the color um, Worthy Deep. And then I'm using my Sephora Pro Powder Brush 50. I, I love this brush, but this is my color, my bronzer. Yes, I do the face. I feel like this scarf about to fall off on me on, at any moment. And then I saw somebody say to make a double chin. <laughs> does that look as crazy as I think it does on camera? I think so. Okay. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I just decided to go with my raggedy scarf that I've had for like 15, um, 10 years. It, it's tight. It works. But... The base of the face is done. I know that's a lot to look regular, <laughs> um, but that's my base. So I'm, I I usually do eyeshadow next. Today, I'm going to be using my Patrick Tall Major Dimensions eyeshadow palette. This is the original one. I did not pick up the new one. It was tempting. But I want a neutral look because, like I said, I'm filming content that I'm going to be using for a while. This is my BK Beauty 202 like taper blending brush. And I'm going to go into that color right there anyway i don't even know if i have time to point out colors this is oh i need practice <laughs> i need practice i'm basically doing i'm going to be doing my what i call my signature makeup look but this is like the full beat version of it um Y'all, I feel like I have, like, no middle ground when it comes to makeup. I, it's either a full bead or I'm not wearing makeup. I try to do middle ground, and I never like it. Like, I either like me barefaced, you know, and that's just, and just natural and organic and raw, you know what I'm saying, preservative free, if you will. Or I like myself, you know, full glam, you know, beat to the nines, even if it's a neutral looking beat. Uh, that's just what it is. Oh y'all, and I'm a I'm a super blender. So I will blend and blend and blend and it'll look like I'm not doing anything and I will blend. 
Okay, life updates. Okay, listen. So channel updates. So the reason I let me tell you, I have been so inconsistent over the years, and I think it's because number one, I started my channel. If you've been with me for since the beginning, as a natural hair channel, and and then I realized that I did not want to be a natural hair blogger, and this was circa two thousand eight, two thousand nine. This was before the word influencer even existed. This is before you could be monetized on YouTube. This was before brand deals. Like I, it was just really like wanting to share my journey. So I never thought of it as something like to turn into a business or a career. You know, shout out to the people who did, but that was never something I wanted to do with this channel under that topic. And so then, right, it became you know, well, what do I want to do? And I don't think I ever really answered that question for myself. Um, I'm going into the deeper shade here. And I'm using my BK Beauty A502. It's a smaller taping brush. And so, you know, I, for the longest time, I just was like, I mean, for years, y'all know, probably still, I mean, up until the <laughs> recording of the video, I've been very inconsistent. And that's because I do a lot of video content, teaching, coaching, consulting uh, on my other YouTube channel and in my business for a living. And so it, it like I've done some videos, you know, like on femininity and luxury and it was starting to feel like work. And I, as much as I love my job i get compensated well um for what i for what i do and uh and i and i and i love that for me but i also wanted more of a creative outlet that you know i wasn't trying to necessarily turn into like my main income stream or um you know be teaching and coaching and consulting on the free right and so i was like what would be fun to me and it, it took me some time. And then, you know, I mean, I had, you know, just regular life and business always is going to take precedence. Like when it comes to filming content, it's always going to take precedence over filming hobby content. And so I just, I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I think recently I got really clear about what I wanted to do because, you know, I've done videos on self-care. So this is kind of what that deeper shade is like, very neutral. So you can see it's not warm. I think I want to go a little bit deeper just because um, with these lights, it's, it's like hard to see. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what happened. And so now I think I'm very clear on what I want to do. I definitely want to do beauty content. I really enjoy makeup. I would say 90 90. 85% of the videos I watch on YouTube are around um, beauty and makeup. The other 15, 10, 15, 20% is around home decor. So for me, I was like, and, and what I realized, it's always been that way. Like, that's all I really watch YouTube for. I, I, I think there's only like one or two people, maybe, th maybe three or four people that I watch their vlogs, but they either I started following them for a different reason and I just enjoyed them. And I and so therefore I enjoy their vlogs, but outside of that, why did I get that brush? I don't need that. So for me, I definitely think um, it's not a thing. I know that my content is going to move towards self care, beauty, lifestyle, decor, things like that, because that's just what I'm into. So I'm now going to take this deep shimmery shade right there and I'm gonna go on my lid with that I might have to use this so yeah y'all that's kind of where we're at with that um and hopefully y'all rock with me so like you know I was talking about femininity for a while and I you know the thing about those videos is I'm not a femininity coach I've said that several times before and um, oh, that's pretty. I've said that several times before, and I really meant that. And I, I've always defaulted to the women who did that. And I just wanted to share my experience, but I don't necessarily have a lot to say on the topic, right? And, and I've actually, I actually have some videos that I uploaded a while ago 
that are unlisted on my channel that I accidentally published. Some of y'all might have seen those. I accidentally published them and then I unpublished them because I just, I just, that's just not the direction I want to go on my channel. Like, and I, you know, I had people on some of my other videos really hype about like, oh, you know, a natural haired, dark skinned woman talking about femininity. And I was just like, while I'm, I, I get that, that's, that I don't, that's, it's not fun to me. Okay, and so I wanted my channel to be fun. So for blush, I am going to be using uh, my Pat McGrath blush in Paradise Venus. This is the color. It's like a rosy terracotta. My favorite blush of all time. Favorite blush of all time. Using a longer hair. You can tell I use this color all the time because this is the blood brush that I use with this color. So, um, so I feel like I should give y'all a cancer update uh, or life after cancer update. If you've been with me since 2016 or, you know, before 2016 when I was diagnosed, like I did a video about it in the middle of it, which I probably should not have done it when it was in the middle because it's cringeworthy because <laughs> um, I was so stressed. But now that I'm six years post diagnosis, I kind of want to talk about my journey. I just want to have a place like, because people ask me questions all the time when their loved ones are diagnosed with cancer. And I have a very untraditional story about how I currently no longer have cancer, um, but didn't choose to do, tri um, you know, more traditional Western um, medical approaches to a cancer diagnosis. And so let me know in the comments below if that's something that you would be interested in. But I also kind of want to talk about like the PTSD that comes with um, a diagnosis like that. Um, I've had to do a, a lot of a lot of therapy um, after my diagnosis, sp specifically um, if you're familiar with EMDR. I had to do a lot of that. So yeah, so I, let me know if y'all want a video about that. I'm going to be using my new Sephora um, shadow and liner in the color. I mean, I think it's just black. Okay. And I didn't know when I got these that they were waterproof. I really didn't want that, but here we are. So I kind of put it on there sloppily. Um... And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Sephora. I don't know what this brush is. It's like a pencil brush. And then I'm just going to blend that liner out. So sometimes I like a, 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 a sharp wing liner, liner, if I can speak. And then sometimes I like more of a smudge shadow style liner just depends on what I'm going for. you know so so sometimes you know I feel like a smudgy liner is a softer look um and I feel like a sh uh, a liquid liner is a sharper look um and it depending on the day is you know depending on what I go with okay so since this is for course content I'll keep it pretty soft okay now let's do primer and mascara. I'm using my Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. Let me tell you, do not over apply this, okay? You just need a little bit. It's a little tiny brush. I've told y'all before, I have to back comb my lashes because they're so curly. I'm not complaining because I know some people don't have curly lashes, uh, but that's, that's, that's where I'm at in life. And okay, so that's kind of the cancer update. Well, I mean, that's y'all let me know if y'all want a more detailed update about like just the whole journey of being diagnosed with cancer from, you know, the the actual person's perspective and particularly the fact that I went a more holistic way. Um, I know a lot of people have questions or have had questions for me over the years. And I will say this one thing in this video in case y'all are not interested but or in case somebody comes across this video the thing about me choosing a more holistic approach to cancer um i will say the thing that made it easier for me to do that is i already was someone who believed in holistic medicine so 
I think the challenge comes in when people either are un completely unfamiliar with holistic um, medicine or um, are new to it when they're already in the thick of it, you know, in the thick of the diagnosis. And it's hard to kind of change your mindset about how you feel about um, or what you believe about holistic medicine. It's hard to try to do research in real time. Um, and, you know, I, you know, I've seen people go through that and, and also, you know, it, it's a different approach. And what I, what I have seen just in, in my own life and with people that I know is I am holistic first, Western second. So I'm not anti-Western. I'm just a holistic first, Western second. And I see people go Western first, holistic second. And, um, sometimes it's hard to undo the effects, the side effects that Western medicine can have. Um, whereas it would, it might be different if you do holistic first. So, I mean, yeah, I could, I could really do a whole series on that. I'm using my mini NARS Climax Extreme Mascara. Um, I would use my Too Faced Better Than Sex, but I just, it's it, the, I just don't like that bulky wand. And I, I think I mentioned this in a recent haul that I wanted to try the MAC Stack um, Mascara, but I just, I'm not a fan of rubber, rubber bristle mascara. Okay. Oh, let me say this. Back on the channel updates, I'm also considering vlogging again. Um, you know, it's been years since I vlogged. Like I said, life has happened you know, didn't know what I wanted to do with my channel. And also, it's really deciding like, okay, Evelyn, if you're going to do this, like, are you going to commit? I think that's the thing, you know, like, are you going to be consistent? Because I find that the YouTubers I gravitate towards are the ones that who are consistent. And so there may have been people back in the day that I might have even liked more than some of the people that I'm watching right now. But the people that I'm watching right now, I can always count on different content. And so I really appreciate that. You know, like, I know that I can sit down on this day at this time and enjoy their video. Like, this is what we want. We like consistency. We like it in men. We like it in life. We like it from our content creators. So, <laughs> um, oh, I feel like my lashes ain't showing up on camera. Right now, so, I might have to do some better than sex. I mean, this. let me say this. This, this NARS Climax Extreme is fine. I don't think I would ever buy a full tube of it but and and I didn't want to try a new mascara today when I know I need to film so okay I mean here's the thing as bulky as this wand is it it's gonna give you the lashes so that's the thing when it comes to me um and ma lashes I am not a false lash wearer just because my natural lashes are so curly um I have found it challenging to put on natural lashes and to be honest i don't want to figure it out uh so i know somebody could probably give me some tips i decided i just don't want to figure it out that's you know it's one less thing i have to buy i'd rather be you know a primer and mascara girl okay we got some lashes um yeah i'd rather be a primer and mascara girl and that's just you know that's just what i've decided this is maybelline colossal on the lower lashes just because all those other wands are too big so now all we need to do i don't wear highlighter i i will wear a glowy blush but sometimes but i i i'm not a highlight kind of person yeah i have this one eyelash that always just sticks down and it drives me batty so i have hyperpigmentation on my lips y'all and let me tell you it was not always this way I, my lips are very very sensitive and so over the years, like if I if I use something on my lips and I have an allergic reaction, it scars them so bad. So that's what we're left with. So I always like to use something that's a little, got a little warmth in it to warm my lips up. So today, since I'm filming, I actually am more of a tinted balm kind of person. However, since I'm filming, um, I want something a little bit more opaque. So I'm going to be using my Pat McGrath Matte Trans Lipstick in Flesh 3. It's my favorite Pat McGrath in the balm, right? This is Flesh 3 in the balm. So let me show you 
what it looks like in the balm. And it's very similar to my blush color. I love, love, love this. But I'm gonna be using the matte version, which um, sometimes can show up a, a little too light. So I'm gonna be using my new Sephora gel lip liner in the color, what is this? I think this is molasses. I don't even know if it says, yeah, molasses, okay. Number 17. This is this is probably, I, I have finally found a brown lip liner that's not too dark, that looks gray black, not too red, not too orange and not too light. So I ordered another one just because, not that they're gonna run out anytime soon, I just wanna have it. I am not somebody that overlines my lips. Just not my aesthetic, I, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, I think we all have our makeup preferences. I just am not a fan of that look. Um, so I don't do it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now, so I don't want a ton. And I'm going to take the Flesh 3 Balm and go over this. Mm, that's pretty. So it's like this rosy, terracotta looking look. Now all I have to do, and I'm, I'm going to do this all off camera, is I have to um, curl my hair because it is in a, is currently in a silk press. And curl my hair and um, put the dress on that I'm going to film in. Once I do that, I'll come back and show you, you know, what I've done. So, but this is the look. What do you think? This, y'all, this is basically my signature makeup look like. The colors on the eyes may change, the lip may change variously, but like if I don't know what to do and I want to feel put together, I want to feel my prettiest, this is kind of the look that I'm going for, right? So as you can see, it's a full beat with neutral colors. All right, let me do my hair, let me get dressed, and I'll come back and wrap it up because I got to start filming my other video. This video is very long. I don't even think I covered... All the stuff I want to cover, but girl, this is long enough. We're going to have to chat in another video. Okay, <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. Now you can see how the makeup look ties in with, with dress. This is the dress that I bought at Magnolia Market in one of my recent videos. I have curled my hair, but I have not separated the curls. So I'm one of those people I like to wait to the very last minute to uh, separate the curls. Um... And even then, because I know I'm going to be filming for a while, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to wreck a comb through it. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm looking down at my screen. <clears throat> so, this is the finished look. Um, there is a little bit of hairspray in here just because I have fine hair. And if y'all saw from my previous videos, it can look really flat sometimes. So... That's it, y'all. That is the finished look. What do we think? So I definitely think that this look for my videos, for my um, some of my program content will last a couple of years. Um, and yes, even though I'm in business, I still wear hoop earrings because it's my company and who gonna check me, boo? <laughs> so anyway, I'm so excited. I hope you enjoyed this very lengthy chatty Kathy y'all know me if you've been here for a while slightly long-winded um get ready with me like I said let me know if you want to see what kind of makeup videos you want to see what kind of decor videos you want to see what kind of self-care videos you want to see and also let me know if you are interested in kind of like me sharing my um like I guess what I learned post-cancer or what my process was. Um, 
I might do it anyway, just as a resource, because over the years I've had people, you know, some that I've known, some that I haven't known on the internet, you know, they are aware of my diagnosis story. And, and so, you know, maybe they have a loved one or someone who is going through something similar and they want my, um, like my experience. And so I would love to have a resource for them that they could go to, um, to kind of like shorten the learning curve, because I just remember it was just like, it was crazy town for me at that time. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. So this is the final look. And uh, I love it. My signature look. I knew I, I knew that lip color was going to go perfectly with this dress. So with that being said, I will see you in my next video. Peace.